Well, a childhood passion turned into an adult obsession. A local man didn't just build his life around it, he built his home around it. How about that? News 5's Caroline Sweeney shows us maybe not in the way you'd think. Down a private drive that ends at the lake's edge is a house with a surprise inside. I come from a long line of musicians. Sometimes you can see it through the windows, but if you listen carefully, you may hear it from the street. So this organ has 7,406 pipes. Eugene Blackstone is a doctor at the Cleveland Clinic, and when he isn't working, he's playing. I've called it a choral organ. It's an organ with a lot of pipes that are playing, not very loud. Blackstone has been hammering away at the keys, pedals, and stops of a pipe organ since he was little, brought to music through his father. I'll teach you organ about a quarter of the time, but three quarters of the time, you gotta really learn the piano. See, this is the first organ that I built. He's played during his time in the Army. 1969-ish or so. And his first few years as a practicing physician in Birmingham, Alabama. That was what it was like at Christmas. <laughs> Over the last several decades, as Blackstone's love for playing the organ grew, so did the instrument itself, until it outgrew his house. So this organ is from scratch. Instead of getting a smaller organ, Blackstone built a bigger house. So Richard Fleischmann was the architect. He had done between 60 and 70 churches, knew all about pipe organs, knew about sound. All those shapes are purposely there to reflect certain frequencies of sound, all the way to the paint. The walls are double thick walls. The windows are one inch thick windows instead of the usual, so they're commercial type of windows. Uh, everything to keep sound rattling around in here. Don, come morning, in. Doctor. Good to see you. He recognizes his privilege <laughs> and wants to surprise other people. These pistons only control this pedal. Okay. These control that pedal. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Okay, so that makes sense. Who need a place to play or practice during the pandemic. I'm listening to the organ if it's getting the tonal quality that I want. It's up an octave, half of four is two. So we keep young with the students, I would say. You can sit here and just play all day if you wish. Pre-pandemic, this room turned into a small concert hall. And so that first recital, I think we had 50. And then 75, 100 people. The amount of people interested in playing has surprised Blackstone. It's great to have this instrument being played all the time. Caroline Sweeney. Organs love to be played. News 5. Beautiful. <laughs> it is beautiful. Oh, wow. Cow. That was great. You had to build a whole new house because your <laughs> organs, it's just too big. So let's build another house. Exactly. Congratulations Way to, to Caroline and Dave Colobine, too. That was wonderfully done. Incredible story there. They find these great stories that make you smile. So we need that.